There are still two wooden crosses here at the side of the Trans-Canada Highway west of Winnipeg. One is dressed in Timothy McLean's North American Midway staff uniform and has a pair of his shiny sunglasses attached to it. An inscription scratched on the other reads, I think of you always, son. Love, Dad. This is where Greyhound Bus 1170 came to a stop 10 years ago after Vince Lee violently and viciously attacked his seatmate. Shocked and traumatized passengers called police. This woman was on the bus. I thought it was just one of those scary movies. People not doing anything on the side of the road. I felt like no one could do anything to help me or help others to get away from it soon enough. We can't identify her under child welfare laws. She's lost guardianship of her daughter because social workers say PTSD and mental illness stemming from that bus attack make her an unfit mother. I'm constantly waking up depressed. How can I wake up and be fine with just being there and not getting the proper help? Vince Lee was declared not criminally responsible because of a mental illness. Last year, Manitoba's Criminal Code Review Board ruled he's no longer a risk to the public and gave him an absolute discharge. This mental health advocate says Lee is taking his medication and slowly reintegrating into the community. He has been a model citizen. He lives every day with remorse about what he did and he knows that and he knows that it was atrocious and he will never forgive himself, he, he says. He, he can't find a way towards that. But Chris Somerville says the focus today should not be on Vince Lee, it should be on Timothy McLean and all of the other victims of that tragic and violent night. Karen Pauls, CBC News near Portage La Prairie, Manitoba.